Immortal George back with the series by now, later, or never, bringing you Reconquest, a real-time strategy game released in 2016. It goes for around 12 US dollars, and I'll go ahead and jump into a game and show you what it's like, and then I'm going to show you a mission that I feel kind of defines the game, and you'll see why. So we'll do this mission to... There's a story, it's basically the war, or the world went under nuclear warfare, people went underground, others didn't, you resurface, that's the gist. Very, very nice and fast. Alright, so start. Building online. Alright, so you got a gas processor here. Building. This is what gets you your money. This is your money. Uh, I don't know if they're infinite. I don't think they are. I do believe they go away. And your harvester has to go and collect other resources on different parts of the map. You have a build radius, which you can't see right now. So here's your build radius. You can't go outside the build radius. As far as I'm aware, your build radius is finite. You cannot expand it outwards at all, even if you try to base creep. So there's no base creep in this game. Construction complete. Building. As far as I've experienced, turrets in this game are extremely powerful. New construction options. Building. New construction options. Which you will see here shortly. At least the building architecture looks pretty nice for the power plant. I do like that. Building. The radar station gets you your mini-map and allows you to build... Uh, I almost called them guardian cannons. Defense cannons. They are basically the guardian cannon from Command & Conquer 3. I believe when I first played this game, the heavy tanks look like the mammoth tanks from Command & Conquer 3. But I think they've actually changed how they look, probably because they got, I don't know if they get sued or something. It beats me. Maybe they still exist in the game. I'm not quite sure. But I'm fairly positive I used them in the first first or second mission in this game back when I tried this game out, you know, like three years ago. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? But the tanks do look different than they used to, as a fact, I believe. Building. Okay. I think I have way more power than I need. Funds. I was just kind of talking away and wasn't paying attention. The unit pathing is... I was just about to speak about unit pathing, and now my tank is trying to push into my little scout unit. They're dancing, apparently. Look at them, they're square dancing. Holy cow. Anyways, for the most part, the pathing in this game is pretty good. They don't get stuck on anything. They will try to be smart. It's a bit Tiberian Sun-esque where it has that... The general idea of how you should path in a game. The last game I covered was a Meridian New World for an RTS. And in that one, the pathing was a bit wonky. As far as I'm aware, in this one, they don't get caught up and don't try to go around. I haven't massed enough units to test that yet, though. Because the game kind of gets a little laggy. Construction complete. And you can't place buildings when your units are on top of it. So you have to move your units, and then you can place the building. There we go. And then we'll build a war factory next. So in this game, it does use the Command & Conquer formula of two harvesters for one refinery. It is the optimal situation, because by the time one of them is done, the other one will be pretty much halfway filled. So you do want to have two and two. Or, I mean, excuse me, two for one. You do get upgrades based on certain things, like for example, the radar tower has this satellite mini mini map view, so you can click it and then um, click it, and then you can select a spot and it reveals it. Enemy unit sighted. And then we got some enemy units coming in, and you'll see how strong turrets are. That was an infantry unit. This is a, an attack bike. And look how fast turrets repair. You just you just hover over it and click R. So turrets in this game are absurdly strong. So we got our war factory. We'll just plop it right here. The war factory does get a vehicle repair ore that you have to pay two thousand dollar dues for. And it has a rally point just like anything else. Your MCV or your construction yard, excuse me. Uh, is not a MCV. There's no M part of it. It's just a CV. 
It just stands there and does nothing. Right? It's not even a V, it's a, it's a Y. Yeah, I can't even speak words today. Uh, I haven't encountered air units yet. I believe that's mission five. And I'm going to show you mission four. So now you have the general idea of how the game works. You have rifleman squads, missile squads, homie missile squads. I have snipers on the next map. And then you have your scout, your defender. Missiles in this game are hilariously bad, and I'm going to show you why. There's APCs, tanks. There's a heavy tank that you can't see right now, and this gas truck, which is, um, well, these things right here. So let's see if we can find some guys that shoot rockets, and we'll show you why they are just not good. Even though the enemy has homing rockets, they're still not very good. Let's see if we can demonstrate this. Is there any guys who have homing attacks here? Uh, no, it does not appear to be any homing guys on this one. So that's fine, we'll just ignore it for now. And you can have multiple war factories and stuff like that. So we'll build two of them just to show you. It does take 20 seconds to build a war factory. It does have the nice timer there, or the, I guess it is a timer. And it shows you the power level. Here's your power level. Here's your minimap. Here's your money. And then here's how much money you can hold. Assembling. Assembling. All right, so let's say you're not selected on one of your things. You're over here, blah, blah, blah. You're doing stuff. Come over here. You click this, and now you have your one and two. You click it. This is the left one. Go back to it. Click it. This is the other one. So it's that simple for that term. There is gas tank storage, but I've never been at the point where I have spared gas, really, because I am a true blue Command & Conquer player where I don't have money ever, and I spend everything that I try to spend. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's finally. So watch, watch this. Uh, it just you just dodge it. All rockets in this game target where your unit is. Doesn't matter if they're homing or not, and you can simply just move back and forth like this, and you can dodge it. See? He tries to home on you. This is actually, I believe, a homing one. I can't remember though. But yeah, he just they struggle to hit your units. So you can just dodge just like that. It is that easy. So we're just going to put our waypoint in their base, and we'll go destroy it. That was... Uh, and look how fast turrets repair. I have this many tanks, and it's still like, repairing that quickly. That's silly. There is no crushing in this game. If you see I try to crush them, uh, you can't crush them. They just kill them that fast with their guns. There was no crushing there. There is no force fire. There is no hotkey command. Let's take a look at the options if you want to see that. Oh, this is it. You have your display, your graphics quality, window mode. And my volume is only down to here. They didn't implement the logarithmic scale for their sliders. So halfway is actually zero. This up here is more like um, 80%. So if you don't use a logarithm scale for your volume sliders, you're going to have a bad time. But we'll continue. All right, this is the war, the war factory for the enemy looks like. That thing we just killed was the barracks. All right, so now you have a general idea of how to play. You... Use turrets. Turrets are very good. They do everything for you. And then you use units to push into the enemy. So, just kind of basic things. So we're going to... Go to campaign. And do mission 4. So now you can see what I'm talking about. When I say, if you try to play it normally, you're going to have a bad time. So that's how you would play the game normally. This one, you have to defend this structure for an unknown period of time. Let's see, I just want barracks and nothing but barracks. Construction complete. Enemy unit sighted. Barracks. Options. Building. New construction options. Uh, put a guarding cannon here. Construction complete. Another barracks. Building. Power plant. Building. Dense defense tower. 
This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. Construction complete. Radar now we're going to build more gas online. processors. Construction complete. Enemy That's down excited. here. All right, so because this mission is to defend this area the entire time, all you're going to be doing is defending this area. Your base does not extend that far. Your base extends to here. Construction complete. Pull this guy back. Put these guys over here. Dodge those shots a little bit. Doesn't seem so bad so far. You just have a few guys, Enemy nothing too excited. awful. Unit under attack. And now we're going to begin spamming soldiers. Construction complete. Training. Reinforcements have arrived. Come on, let me unit place the building. Building. On hold. Cancelled. Building. Unit lost. All right, you're gonna soon see why I'm spamming out so many rifles. Complete. Okay, what do we want next? Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we need another gas processor. This guy is stuck, isn't he? So you can build structures too close to other things and they get stuck. Don't worry, we're using units. We got some more of these guys right here. Yeah, let's build some more dudes. Everyone likes dudes. All right, we'll go to War Factory, and then we'll start making some more of those. We have one, two, three, four, five, six harvesters, actually, so we'll build more gas processors. And now the unit... And no, that's not my OBS lagging. That's the game lagging. My frame is down from 120 to 60 or 99 right now because of all this unit spam. And the enemy is starting to get more and more and more and more guys. They get all these units for free right now. And you hear that unit spam of unit lost? There's, I can turn the voices down, but I'm gonna leave that on just for a little bit, and I'll turn it, I'll turn it off in a, in a moment, so you can enjoy that loveliness with me. My structure did not appear. I hope it exists. <laughs> I don't know if it actually exists or not. So if you try to defend normally, where you just make tanks and stuff like that, the sheer amount of guys they have will focus you down. And you can't select your turrets to shoot them. You can't auto-target. I mean, manually target, excuse me, with your turrets. There's only auto-targeting with them. Unit lost. So I'm going to keep building some more of these. Unit lost. Unit lost. Enemy unit sighted. All right. Unit lost. And we'll build, uh, I don't know, two more gas trucks. Why are these guys all going back here? No. Go over here. Unit lost. I must have accidentally clicked that earlier. Unit lost. Yep, we're down to 43 frame rate right now. And I have a pretty decent computer. Enemy unit sighted. Unit lost. 28 frames. Alright, we're going to attack with some of these guys. We'll see if we can push into the enemy base and do something about them. And they, I'm, I'm sorry for the lag. Uh, they did not put a unit cap in place which I believe they should have if it was going to be this laggy. Let's go destroy some of their bases, structures. While we build more of these, and I don't know which building I'm on. I wish they had the count up here when you're on it. So yeah, this is just playing like a gremlin. Like you just spam out infinite infantry. Yeah, we'll destroy this, push up, shoot it again, push up, shoot it again, push up. Yeah, we'll just push into their structure here. I believe this is their construction yard, yes. Unit 
Oh, we need some more units, I think. You enjoying that unit lost yet? Oh, we need, we need some more guys over there. I believe we could use some more guys. Yeah, I think it's time for some uh, heavy tanks to be put up here as well. Need some more. I want more. Isn't that just a lovely sound? Let's go ahead and shut that off now. Okay, let's see if we can destroy this structure. It's a power plant. Three more minutes and she's out of there. Very nice. Okay. More units, we'll send them here. And at least the nice thing about this game is units auto attack, so you don't have to manually select everything. They will just attack. Send these guys up here. Send these guys up here. Destroy this. This is what's calling in these things right here. And yes, that is the sound clipping, if you can hear that. I hope you can't. See, they can't crush your units. So, basic infantry in this game are really strong. And look how fast this thing repairs. Yeah, you like that? You like, you like that instant repairing they're doing? <laughs> okay, I've killed... The entire enemy off the map, I believe. I don't think the enemy has anything else. Look, look at the struggle to killing this turret. That's how absurdly strong turrets are in the game. Oh wow, they have a whole other base down here? What? Wow, I had no idea. Alright, we'll just put our waypoint in their base. One more minute and she'll have everything. Hooray! Well, that's kind of too bad, because uh, I, I already killed everything. Yep, yep, that's right. I am victorious, because I beat the whole map. So, without doing that, the enemy just completely overwhelms this area, because they get constant... See, they're even getting free reinforcements right now, even though I destroyed everything on the map. But they get one, two, uh, three, four. They get four free tanks every single time, along with a bunch of infantry spam that I was doing as well. Now, I don't know what to think about that really. That kind of just felt weird that you had to play the infantry spam game there. And that was the only way to reasonably do it, because tanks would just get overwhelmed by the sheer amount of infantry and tanks they send out. They get for free. You need to defend that middle structure. So you can't put any base defenses around it at all. And as you saw, my frame rate tanked the entire time. So we'll show you a different mission. We'll show you mission, uh, I want to say three? Uh, 
Okay, we'll show off mission three here. Start off making a gas processor. go gas processor made big up power plant next power plants made we'll make a barracks so we can start making turrets barracks made we'll make a turret we'll make another gas processor all right there is turret one Make a second one. I might have to delete it. No, I should have enough money. Okay, and we'll put that here. We have enough for this. Put that there. Need another power plant. They're giving us some reinforcement. Oh yeah, we can turn the uh, voices back on because you don't know what's happening in the game if you don't have voices on. Because they don't talk to you. Insufficient funds. Reinforcements have arrived. They brought us a gas processor. It's nice. Two. They brought us two. Nice. Okay. I forgot they did that. Construction complete. And then we'll make one more Building. gas processor while making another Building. guard tower. And we're going to slap this here just in case they come this way. Because they sometimes will path around this way. Insufficient funds. Construction complete. Not insufficient funds anymore. Plenty of funds. All right, now we can start making a war factory. It also didn't finish. I'm just maybe if I go away with it on my camera. No. Well, at least it still works. Construction complete. All right. Um, there's no real room over there for my war factory, so I'll slap it here. We'll build another one. We'll start pumping out some uh, heavy tanks. Assembling. Enemy unit sighted. Base is under attack. Repairing. Yep, turret's strong. Repairing. Unfortunately, infantry's not. Except, you know, that last thing where I completely overwhelmed the enemy with infantry. Just I ignore that. Uh, actually, on this one, once this one finishes, I'm going to build one more gas truck. Alright, radar station, and then we can build some defense cannons. Do a vehicle repair thing. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing. Insufficient funds. Base is under attack. Alright, that's the last gas truck we'll need. The gas trucks do seek out Radar gas on their attack. own. Construction complete. So that also means if you run out in your base, they will gallivant off to the enemy base in search of it. The enemy base, I believe, is over here. Oh yeah, so let's dodge some rockets. Yep, he's the homing rocket guy, and he's, uh, well, he's not doing such a good job. Alright. There's that. And two turrets is pretty much enough to defend against most things in the game. So we'll show you the upgrade system in this game, the tech center here, which is 4,000 bucks. So we'll just cancel our tanks real quick so we can get more money. And all the maps that I've played so far look exactly like this one. There's not much intrigue on them. They all look kind of just this dull, wastelandy look. Dump, 
to boom. Yep, this needs the tech center. I want to make some sniper squads to go along with our push here. There's the tech center. We'll make another barracks. Mm -hmm. And then here's your upgrade system. Uh, Cannons upgraded. That's it. You click it and you got it. Construction complete. Rockets and, uh, upgraded. Yeah, you're done. Cannot so that's it for the upgrade system. Training. Any questions? Training. And then we'll just do some Assembly. more of these tanks. Assembling. And then we'll just attack once these guys these guys are ready. Alright, let's just go out. Enemy unit sighted. Base is under attack. So I really haven't been attacked at all. Now they're starting to attack me finally. That turret already two shot that thing. So you're and I can't build out to here. Your guys just have to come out and uh seek it out on their own. Enemy unit sighted. At least the control grouping for like holding shift on stuff works out pretty well. Enemy unit sighted. Unit under attack. It's gonna kill this harvester. Oh, gas process, what are you gonna call it? It's called gas harvester. Enemy unit sighted. Push into their base. Enemy unit sighted. Unit under attack. Yep, yeah, not much to it. Enemy unit sighted. Unit lost. And your units aren't split up in terms of health. If it shows three guys, they still have one one giant health bar. That's it. Once the health bar goes down, they all die. And I believe this was the third mission, I want to say. Yeah, I believe the third mission. I don't know what they have left. It must be something down here. Your units cannot shoot over cliffs. Even if you have line of sight down here, you can't shoot them. Your guy does have to go all the way around. And yes, you do have to kill every single turret. So I think mission two was the most action oriented. So we'll see if I rem Building remember online. correctly. Building. And we'll do this as the last one. Just so you can see the most of the game I can provide to you. And hopefully it'll give you at least a good idea of what the game is like. Construction complete. Building. So you have two, three attack paths on this map to your base. Construction complete. We'll make a Building. barracks next. Start getting some defense turrets up. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Building. Construction complete. I'll put one right uh, back here. Building. Construction one right complete. In the middle here. Construction complete. Building. Building. Make some more power. Construction complete. Construction complete. And then put one right here. And then we'll make a radar station next. Building. Because you don't really need units Enemy for a lot of these maps unless you have to go outside your attack. base. Because turrets will be enough. Even though this is an anti-infantry turret, it's killing that APC pretty easily. Enemy units 
the enemy AI does seem to target your correct unit type, so they will try to shoot tanks if they're anti-tank, and they'll try to shoot um, your infantry if they're anti-infantry. But your turret does not seem to do the same. Your turret will focus tanks, even though the uh, enemy is staring them down with a bunch of infantry behind that tank. And defense cannons, as far as I know, are good enough to kill infantry on their own without any help. Base is under attack. Repairing. Okay, now we can make a war factory. Construction complete. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing insufficient funds. On hold, cancel. Repairing. Base is under attack. Yep, base defenses are good enough to hold out on their own. Enemy unit sighted. That should only be 1400 bucks. Building. Actually, I don't know. Oh. Repairing. On hold, cancel. Building. Look how, look how fast the repair is. That thing was at half health when I noticed it. Base is under attack. And see how it is shooting the tank instead of the infantry? So it's not taking any of the DPS complete. off of itself. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing. Repairing. I wish there was a button to view your unit health at all times. Mm. I would like that Base as an option. Enemy or unit any sighted. options. At least WSAD is default in this game for camera movement, so I did not have to set up my hotkey repairing, or my uh, auto hotkey for it. Construction complete. Enemy unit sighted. Building. All right, need another generator soon. Now we start building Assembly. gas trucks. One, Base two, three, attack. four, Enemy five, six. So I do need another guns. gas processor. Construction complete. Building. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing. Repairing. All right, and this one's gas processor's done. We'll build a few more, and then we can spend up units to kill the enemy. enemy. Unit sighted. Insufficient funds. It's kind of a slow Base way to play, attack. but for each mission, it seems like there's a kind of best build order to go on. You could just try to make units and go out, but the enemy, enemy will just overwhelm sighted. you because I don't even know if they need money. I'm not quite sure how that works. Construction complete. Ready. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. And I said there was six, sighted. so I only need one more. Right, one more gas truck. And then we'll build another war Building. factory. Base is under attack. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing. Insufficient funds. Gas truck ready. Alright, gas truck's done. Now we start spamming. Construction complete. Enemy unit sighted. Base is under attack. Building, building the barracks. We're gonna put our stuff right here. Construction complete. Enemy and we'll get some sighted. rifle squads, Training. five of those, Training. or six of those apparently. And we'll just Unit do some attack. regular tanks. Assembling. Assembling. Building lost. Building lost. Oh, I actually Base lost buildings. Under attack. Building. How terrible. Repairing. Repairing. Enemy unit sighted. So you, you, you repair a building's fast enough that it just doesn't matter. Construction complete. Enemy unit sighted. Building. Repairing. Base is under attack. Construction complete. Insufficient funds. There we go. Repairing. All taken care of. Enemy unit sighted. Repairing. Repairing. Say, I wish this would be focusing infantry, but you can't manually target. Base is under attack. Enemy unit sighted. Yeah, we'll move out this way. Repairing. Unit under attack. Enemy Probably unit another defense cannon over here. Repairing. 
We'll cancel some of our tanks that are building. Get some money back. There we go. We'll help out with these. Repairing. Building. Base is under attack. Unit under attack. Enemy unit sighted. All right, we'll just park our units in their in their base. Construction complete. Stay on. Cannot deploy here. Low Building. One over, and there's no way to depower any of your buildings. Base is under attack. Uh, it's just if you run out of power, you have to make a new power plant or destroy something. Activated. Building online. Unit yes, sir. We'll push in right here. Unit we'll kill this power plant so he can't shoot us with a turret. And then we'll start making some tanks. Mm -hmm. There's no shift clicking like in other games where you can like shift or control click. You are just out of luck in terms of not being able to make stacks. You have to manually click everything. Unit lost. This is targeting the little infantry, so I gotta kill it. And there is no issuing alt commands either, or shift, or whatever you button games you use. Enemy unit sighted. Base is under attack. Repairing. Repairing. Unit under attack. I say the only thing I've I've liked about this game so far is the fact that you just hit the mouse over and hit R. That is nice. Enemy unit sighted. I don't remember if there's anything top left. I don't think there is. So we'll just walk into their base here. And we'll just walk into their base up here. Kill their barracks here. Kill the war factory. Uh, what's left? Commander, roll it. What's left? What corner did I forget an enemy in? Where's our radar? Select target. Standing by, Commander. What's next? Nothing over here. What's next? Nothing over here. You guys go down this way. Oh, there's a turret right here. Commander? Yes, sir. Let's hit him. Stay on him. And they're healing it. You are victorious. Okay. So, now the question is, what do I think of the game? The only positive thing... Okay, there's two positive things. The main menu music in this game is pretty good. I like the main menu music. Oh, we'll actually go sit on that main menu right now. There we go. But as far as the rest of the game goes... It doesn't feel good to play. Turrets can completely counter anything the enemy does that I've noticed. They heal an absurd amount. We'll just turn this off while I talk. The units feel uninspired. Like I said, they used to look like 
Command and Conquer 3 units, but I think they had to change them. I don't know if those exist later on. Maybe they moved them to a later thing, but the heavy tanks used to look like mammoth tanks. But you didn't see those, so we shouldn't be talking about that, really. The pathing is good in the game, at least, so your units are responsive to what you want them to do. You, They really should have imposed a unit limit cap on you, because, as you saw in that mission I showed off, my frame rate got to 10 or 12. It dropped horrendously low and became super laggy. The maps are really uninspired. There's just a few things around the map, and that's about it. They're very boring and bland to look at. The story behind the game is, it's okay, you know, post-apocalyptic, and you're trying to take over some land and harvest your min or your gas in this case and uh, produce more science stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that that that's about it, man. the The interface is a bit lacking. You don't know anything about like unit health or anything like that. It just says, you know, this is strong versus this. This is strong versus that. That's okay, but everything just has like a bland green health bar. It'd be nice if they had pips on them, so you could kind of have a general idea of how much health a unit had. At least the camera movement was smooth, I guess. All right, what else can we say about this game? It's just... <sighs> I said it was, what, 12 bucks? Let me check real quick. Store page. Yeah, it's $12. So in terms of buying it now, later, or never, this would go my never category. I didn't feel like it had any redeeming... Okay, here, actually. Um, if you go to the store page for the game and you look at the first the first video they have, you can clearly see in the first uh, section they have mammoth tanks in the video. <laughs> Oopsie, can't have those. Yeah, it's like the 11-second uh, mark. Basically, the game feels like some guys got together, wanted to make an RTS game, and then left all the soul out of it that made it a good RTS. You can't mass unit spam unless you want to lag all the, you know, all the heaven. Like, let's take uh, Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, for example. I think the most units I had in game at one point was about 2,000 tanks, and that's when it started lagging. And that came back out in 2005 or something like that, really, really early on. And this game came out in 2016, and it has those kind of lag issues. All in all, there's much better games out there. Even I would even pick Meridian New World over this one. At least that game had a nice storyline to it. So I might go back and actually finish that game for the storyline. I might finish this one too, because there's only 10 missions on either side. Because maybe, hey, maybe it gets better later on and I'm just not giving it enough time. But I don't feel this is worth buying. If you're looking for an RTS game, this is not the game for you. Go play another game. Like, we'll be covering 8-Bit uh, Armies later, which is pretty fun for, like, the old school type of RTS game. But it's... The RTS genre these days is just... It's kind of dead in terms of... Nobody can do it well anymore. They try to do something like this, where at least they got the graphics to look good, but they forget that RTS games for a lot of people were about just mass unit spam, or base building, or controlling small groups units very efficiently. In this one, you can at least control small groups very efficiently if you want to. As you saw, I was dodging rockets when I cared to. But other than that, it just felt lacking on all those other fronts. Uh, I think that's about all I have to say. I'm just kind of repeating myself at the end here. That's just not... It just feels like it's missing. And that, and that mission, like I said, when you play that mission, if you do buy the game, you will understand. But definitely, definitely, this game goes in my never category, which I don't think I put anything in yet. And if you do want to buy it, I would wait for one of those 80% sales. Because I honestly would not even spend $5 on this game.
All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think in the comments about what I thought of the game or about the gameplay. And if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. And please subscribe. It would help me out. All right, guys. Until next time. See you.